What I think might be the final stage, Y Island. Our plane landed on the island and we've got Max, who apparently is possibly the best player I've been playing with. Maybe Marlon. He certainly knows how Max works, goodness. I think we're hitting our stride a little bit. So if this is the last stage, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the comparison points. The enemy selection, I mean, it's good enough, I, I will say. There's enough differences. Yes, there's some palette swaps, as we're seeing here. This looks like the gates of heaven. What is going on here? Um, <laughs> but it's creative and fun enough. I like the point system and how that works and how you have to balance things out. The music is always top notch, so trying to say one is better than the other, I'm not sure I'm going to get that far. But this is the rare case, I would say, of something living up to the lofty goals that were set by a series in the past. This uses nostalgia, but it also improves upon it. It doesn't just take nostalgia and get lazy with it. <laughs> We're just beating them up from one wall, from one room to the next. Oh, we have swords now. Which looks really out of place for my character. Oh, we had a combo, a triple digit combo there. The mural dedicated to, are, the, are those each dedicated to bosses? I see the robot, I see Mr. X. Yeah, so this is another example where, and the lighting on the floor. Ah, is this Kubo's real form? Babo. Hmm, maybe not. But they take what's there before, and they build upon it, and just make it better and improve it. A lot more developers need to pay attention to how they did it here. Yeah, I'm going to say Cherry's not at her best when she's holding a weapon. I've definitely enjoyed this game and each of the games in this series since I went ahead and played Streets of Rage 1 through 4 in the course of a year. Oh, Ninja Stars. I'll give it a shot.
I gotta say, these Big Bens are some of my favorite and yet most annoying enemies. One, they take punishment. Two, the way they have that fire breathing where they basically got a protective wall in front of them. And just, I like how it's evolved from the boss that it was in, I think, Streets of Rage 1. Oof! And the belly flop. All right. Well, we're both down to down a life. These guys are pinballing all over the place. Well, I hope we don't lose Tom. We might be a little screwed without him. That last guy dropped down at the last second. All right. We have the other twin. Ms. Y. Who was a sword fighter. Are these guys cops or ninjas? Are they, they're throwing stars. It just hit me. Oh, and they're being a pain in the neck. Okay, she pulls a commissioner move. She dashes across the screen. But nothing too tough. You know what I'd hate? If the bosses could pick up the food and just steal them from you. She takes a turkey and all of a sudden we're back where we started. Thank goodness Max got that turkey. I think he's close to getting extra life. And she is running away. That would usually be the stage, but we're going to keep moving. Is Max trying to say something? Yeah, get that life. Thank you. All right, now we have the both of them. Ms. and Mr. Y, the Y twins. makes me think of the yin yang twins. <laughs> Max is a force. You get that tornado tornado move going. Hmm? Oh, why just got his health back and what? We have a mech with a crown. Because why not? And Max is going to work on that machine. Oh my goodness. Woo. 
All right. Good series. Suggest if you have an idea for what to put on next. And make sure to subscribe if you like what you see here.